Hello everyone, welcome back again with us at Military TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about Greece and Turkey's Mediterranean standoff, which is becoming a global issue. Turkey and Greece, as two NATO allies, are at odds with one another in the eastern Mediterranean. The tension has escalated as a result of provocative displays on both sides. Greece's latest move has been to conduct a four-day naval exercise near Crete. Turkey, meanwhile, has extended its seismic survey operations, deploying a research ship in the same disputed region around Crete. The two neighbors have seen frequent flare-ups, but this last spat over gas reserves and maritime rights has prompted fears that tensions could escalate further. Because of this tension, it leads us to ask the question, what's at stake in the eastern Mediterranean? After the recent discovery of hydrocarbons in the eastern Mediterranean by Turkey and the neighboring Greece, tensions began to escalate between the two rivaling countries. While Turkey declared that it would not back down, Greece said the entire hydrocarbon region belongs to it, a claim rejected by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Discoveries of energy resources off the coast of Israel, Cyprus, and Egypt boost the potential of the eastern Mediterranean. The discovery of a massive gas field off Egypt's coast in 2015 in particular has raised the possibility of exporting regional energy to Europe. Conflicting sovereignty claims over the waters of the eastern Mediterranean have therefore caused a rather tense political environment. New regional alliances have been sprouting with these energy reserves in mind. An initial agreement between Greece, Cyprus, Italy, and Israel on the East Med Pipeline project transformed into a forum with the involvement of Egypt, Jordan, and Palestine. But Turkey, Lebanon, and Syria have found themselves excluded. So, when a Turkish seismic vessel began carrying out surveys in waters where Greece also claims jurisdiction shadowed by Turkish warships, it added another dangerous element to the mix. France and Cyprus have openly stated to back Greece in the conflict. Paris has dispatched its two Rafale fighter jets as a show of solidarity with Greece. Meanwhile, Greece planned of conducting naval exercises with France, Cyprus, and Italy. Egypt and the UAE, two distant countries, too have swung into action, and the UAE has reportedly sent its F-16s to take part in military drills with the Greek military. And Egypt has finalized with Greece its maritime boundaries, extending the latter's maritime sphere by 12 nautical miles. The conflict has put NATO in a tight corner while threatening to trigger a massive clash between Turkey and its allies. The gravity of the situation can be gauged from the warning the German foreign minister Heiko Moss. He said that any small spark could lead to catastrophe, and from President Erdogan's resolve of making no concessions on that which is ours. These escalating tensions between the two NATO members are not unfounded. Both claim the areas of gas-rich waters in the eastern Mediterranean. Greece claims that each island, numbering in thousands, is its own, and it has exclusive drilling rights in the islands. The claim is backed by the European Union, which last year sanctioned Turkey for conducting survey off the North Cypriot coast. Besides, it has several times warned Ankara against doing further exploration. In recent months, Turkey and Greece have each looked to strengthen their territorial claims by drawing up exclusive maritime economic zones. In addition to these territorial claims, what other factors are worsening relations? Chief among them are the conflicted status of Cyprus, the wars in Libya and Syria, and the power game in the region. The decreasing influence of the United States in the region is another key factor for the escalating tensions between Ankara and Athens. Both sides are seeking an upper hand in the regional struggle for influence. Relations further soured in July over the reconversion of Istanbul's Hagia Sophia into a mosque. That revived a centuries-long dispute over one of the world's most contested religious buildings and irked Russia and Greece, the centers of Orthodox Christianity. Another major cause of tension between the two countries is the movement of migrants from the Middle East to Europe. Turkey hosts nearly 4 million migrants and refugees. 
In February, thousands of asylum seekers crossed over into Greece, leading to a tough response from Athens. The response included using violence against the asylum seekers. Human rights groups criticized the move. On the other hand, allowing the refugees to cross over was seen as Turkey's attempt to use it as a bargaining device. And most recently, Erdogan government announced to reconvert Kora Church into a mosque. Greece accuses the Turkish president of advancing a neo-Ottoman strategy in the eastern Mediterranean as part of an attempt to implement expansionist aims against neighbors and allies. But while acting to emulate the erstwhile Ottoman Empire, President Erdogan cannot sideline the fact that this policy alienates Turkey's allies and isolates it in the region. No Arab country has backed his recent moves, signaling that they disapprove the Turkish Premier's policies. His pro-Palestine stance, criticizing the Abraham Accord, has not won him Arab countries' sympathy in the wider region. The adversarial position taken by the UAE against Turkey, as it showed through its dispatch of fighter jets to take parts in drills with the Greek military, can be seen as Ankara's dwindling influence in the region. So we can draw two main points from this issue. First, Greece and Turkey have endured plenty of incidents that brought them to the brink of war, particularly in the Aegean Sea, but these were eased through dialogue and mediation. There is no dialogue mechanism established for a conflict over the eastern Mediterranean, and that really matters in this conflict-ridden region. Germany is calling for a new dialogue, but neither Turkey nor Greece seem ready to make concessions and return pragmatism yet. Second, war between Greece and Turkey, as two NATO members in the Mediterranean, would be a disaster. Though both sides seek to hold negotiations to de-escalate tensions, the point of concern is the continuing brinksmanship threatening of accidental escalation.